Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anmol Kapoor. I'm a cardiologist and CEO of BioArrow. Uh, I have an honor to host uh, Dr. Olga Kowalchuk and uh, Dr. Igor Kowalchuk today. And uh, we'll be learning more about uh, genomics uh, and uh, what's exciting uh, happening in the field of genomics today. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, an amazing segment. And we'll have a series uh, of discussions created and uh, check out on YouTube uh, on our website, bioarrow.com. Uh, for details. So, Dr. Olga Kowalchuk. Thank you very much for your kind introduction and for inviting me. I'm Olga Kowalchuk. I'm a professor at the University of Lethbridge, Department of Biological Sciences. My field of research is epigenetics, epigenomics, as well as precision medicine. Thank you. And I'm Igor Kowalczyk. I'm also a professor at the University of Lethbridge, and uh, my field is epigenetics, epigenomics, bioinformatics, uh, and high throughput technologies. Amazing. So amazing words, epigenomics, epigenetics. So tell us more about whole genome. Like there's so much a buzzword around whole genome. People want to know the whole DNA, the whole story. So what do you think? Right. Well, the whole genome is uh, basically a composition of all the DNA material in the cell, right? So whatever you are born with, right? So and based on what you're born with, you combine this from your mother and your father, right? So, and it gives you a, a, or gives us understanding what's your health, what is the predisposition uh, to potential diseases, and uh, what we potentially can we do can we do about it. Yeah, so Olga, so in your opinion, what do you think the whole genome sequencing, this exciting field, uh, is evolve? Well, this is a really, truly exciting field. Just think about our genome, 3.3 gigabases of DNA, and we were wow. able to read it. So 3.3? 3.3 gigabases of oh, DNA. Wow. Wow. It's huge amount of information, roughly between 30 and 40,000 genes. Only. 30, 40, genes, yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. Could be, it could be it could be a notch more, but okay. we're not looking about too much more. So we were able to read it. We were able to understand what are gene-related sequences and what are not gene-related sequences. Now we know that they can be regulated in our genes. And understanding or being able to read it, that's part one. Then next step is being able to understand it, and then being able to use that knowledge. That's, I guess, why we are all here about. 